I'm Mike Beaton here, and we have some very exciting Hill Murray fans right behind me. They've been supporting the Pioneers throughout the tournament. And the leader of this group, get this, is uh, dressed up in a banana. Why don't you tell us uh, you know, who you are and uh, what the story is behind this? All right, well, I'm Jack Doring, and uh, the story is uh, we are kind of joking around about going to the hockey game, the state tournament, and wearing uh, gorilla suits, and I was like, Oh, it'd be really funny if I put on a banana suit and you guys chased me around the stadium. So uh, it started with four gorillas and a banana, and now we have like seven, and it's really, it's gone pretty great. Now, Hill Murray, of course, didn't get to the state hockey tournament this year, but their girls' basketball team made it through, and they've had a very strong program the last couple of years. So what do you have to say about the Pioneers? Uh, well, I mean, they're a great team. You got uh, Bethany Doolittle, who's going to Iowa. And then you got a junior, Tessa Sitchi, who's a really strong player, leads the team. So it's been really fun these past few years to watch them play. How did you get the banana and gorilla suits, and how are you able to find so many of them? Because I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yes. Yes, uh, eight, actually, eight gorilla suits. How did you find them all? Well, uh, the gorilla suits uh, are at Ragstock, so people yeah, went and bought them at Ragstock. <laughs> um, and then this, I got actually, uh, they know a person who uh, who owned the banana suit, so I just borrowed it from them, and uh, it's, been, it's been cool. And have you been able to do any kinds of chases throughout Target Center, or how has the whole thing worked? Because I saw you a few days ago with a security guard. Uh, what were you talking about? Well, uh, apparently I wasn't supposed to cheer in that section, so uh, that's that was that. We got that ironed out, though, and it's all right. Um, as far as getting chased around, we haven't done it in the Target Center, but we've done it. We did it in the X, and uh, we did it last night at the boys' hockey, uh, basketball game. And what if Hill Murray wins the title tonight? Will there be another banana chase? Uh, possibly, but we're all going to go ape if we uh, if we win. Speaking of ape, let's talk to one of these uh, gorillas. Let's go over here. Uh, why don't you give us your name? I'm um, Joey Wagner. And what does it mean for you to have this kind of support? You have got eight gorilla suits and a banana, and the Hill Murray fans are just eating this up. I mean, it's really great to get a bunch of crazy students out here to support a fantastic team. I actually just joined this fantastic group today, but I mean, they invited me in. It's just, it's a good group to be with, and it's a lot of fun. It's an honor. What should we expect next season? Because while Doolittle's graduating, Tessa Sitchi's returning, there's a great group of returning players who have been clutch in this tournament. What's the likelihood that we're going to see the Gorillas and Bananas return? Uh, hopefully a really good chance. The problem is we're all seniors. We're all graduating, so hopefully some kids in the junior class can pick up the tradition. Well, since you're all seniors and graduating, I'm going to let you make a pitch to the underclassmen of Hill Murray to continue this tradition. All right. All you juniors out there at Hill Murray, we have been proud sports of the girls' basketball team and every other sport wearing these gorilla suits proudly. So show us proud. Get out there and be gorillas and go ape at state. Wow! Wow! Uh, I just want to say, you know, it's it's a lot of fun. The girls really love it. Love to support the team. So uh, it's been a good experience. What's your what's your pitch to the? To the next, yes. Bye from Ragstock! <laughs> you heard it first, bye from Ragstock. And we got the rest of the fans cheering on. Well, I don't know what's going to happen next year, but I think it's safe to say you started a new tradition. All the girls are loving this, all you guys are jumping in, and if I don't see this next year, I'm going to be really shocked. What support for the Pioneers. All right, thank you very much. We're thank excited. You. Thank you very much. Mike beat him with some very rowdy Hill Murray fans here at the 2011 Girls Basketball State Tournament.